everyone, Tina Spalding, Trance Channel, here today for our daily course in Miracles Lesson Together. Thank you for joining me again today. Today we are doing lesson number 227. This is my holy instant of release. Father, it is today that I am free because my will is yours. I thought to make another will, yet nothing that I thought apart from you exists. And I am free because I was mistaken and did not affect my own reality at all by my illusions. Now I give them up and lay them down before the feet of truth to be removed forever from my mind. This is my holy instant of release, Father. I know my will is one with yours. And so today we find our glad return to heaven, which we never really left. The Son of God this day lays down his dreams. The Son of God this day comes home again, released from sin and clad in holiness, with his right mind restored to him at last. And that is our lesson number 227 for today. This is my holy instant of release. Let's see what Jesus has to say to us today. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus. And when you begin to understand how you cause your own suffering by chasing your idols, they become a lot less attractive to you. When you realize that it is your judgments about somebody or someone's behavior or a situation that causes you your suffering, and when you step back from that judgment, you get peace back again. You get peace of mind returned to you. You come to see that it is your own, only your own foolish wish, wishes that causes you your suffering. As you surrender to a greater guidance, and that is what these lessons, of course, are leading you towards, it is not easy to do this. The ego does not want to surrender its power. It does not want to surrender its judgment. It feeds off judgment. It feeds off war. It feeds off conflict. And so to surrender to a will that is seemingly different than the ego's will is not an easy thing at all because you are all ego driven. How do you know you are here in separate bodies fighting for your own survival? That is the world of the ego. It is not the world that God created for you. The world that God created for you is a reality that is removed from the vision of the ego. The ego cannot see it. It does not want it. And so it is very difficult initially to surrender to a will that seems to be foreign to you. But we will guarantee that as you practice these lessons and as you begin to listen for guidance rather than the willful directives and maniacal desires of the ego, as you begin to listen to that subtle directive, to do this or that, to say this or that, to surrender to a situation and stop deciding at the beginning of it if it is good or bad. Let it play out and let it see what, see what it brings you. This is one of the great gifts of surrender. A situation will happen and instead of leaping to the ego's decision that this is a terrible thing, this should not have happened, perhaps you got fired from your job and all your financial fears come up, but perhaps two weeks later, you get an offer of something that you really want. Now, if the ego has been in charge of that situation and you have gone into deep fear and you have panicked and you have taken the very next job that you're qualified for, you may miss that opportunity. But if you are calm and considered and say, well, OK, this has happened. It is true. I have been saying that I don't want to work there anymore. Perhaps this is a prayer that's being answered. Stay calm and keep your eyes alert and your heart and hands open and you may very well be given a gift. So watch for the fearful panicking reactions and strive instead for the calm and deliberate response of somebody who has faith and knows that they are cared for. I am that one that you know is Jesus, and I will speak to you again tomorrow. Thank you for joining me again today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.